Uh, indeed, Madhav, good evening. Uh, before I come to the couple of points I'd like to make on this very sensitive topic, it is, uh, I did not mean to uh, correct my good friend Kamruji, but just a factual correction when he talked about uh, Vajpayee ji reminding Narendra Modi ki Raj Dharam ka palan hona chahiye in the wake of 2002, he is quoting Mr. Vajpayee uh, half, because what he said after that was that, or mujhe vishwas hai ki Raj Dharam ka hi palan ho raha hai. So please quote Mr. Vajpayee completely. Thank you. Now, the two issues here. Number one, Madhav, what is the truth about Manipur? Yes, and as I have said before, and I completely agree with Mr. Kalappa, Modi should have spoken on Manipur right when the violence started. Of course, he should have, and I still don't understand why he didn't. He could have calmed the matters down. He could have done so many other things, but he just completely stayed silent. But then, so should have the Congress. Did you know it was the UPA back in 2013 that asked the Manipur government then, Congress government, to look into the demand for SC's ST status for the Maitis, who had been demanding it since independence. The Congress did not act, both at the center and at the state, that it remained so in 2017. And then governments changed both at the center and the state. And unfortunately, both did not act. So Congress did not act and BJP did not act. Now, a couple of months ago, the High Court asked the governments to act. What is wrong in that? What wrong did the, the High Court do? But unfortunately, that has led to all this violence. The two tribes are now at loggerheads. But of course, it is always BJP's fault. Number two, what has happened, Madhav, in Manipur is blood curdling. The criminals have to be punished stringently. And it is unacceptable, totally unacceptable, that one of the perpetrators wasn't arrested for more than two months, but is caught within a day of the video going viral. How is that possible? Head should roll for this. But unfortunately, as yet, none have. State and police inaction must be condemned, mother, wherever it happens, in every state, by every police. But unfortunately, I have to say this, this is not the case. The Manipur horror is being highlighted, and rightly so. Everyone is condemning it, rightly so. But the same Congress outraging today remains silent when a 35-year-old woman gang raped in Jothwara, Rajasthan, self-immolates herself in a police station because of police inaction. When the NHRC takes Suomoto cognizance after a Dalit woman is gang raped by five men after tying her up husband in Thangali, Rajasthan, and the video is made viral, but the police does not take action because of elections. When right. the Calcutta High Court blasts the Bengal government for inaction on multiple gang rape cases and castigates it for not even registering an FIR yes. in 60% of such crimes in the post poll violence. And finally, right. when a 13-year-old is gang raped in Gurdaspur, Punjab in September 2022, and the police does not act for six months and allegedly even allows the perpetrator to flee the country. Now I ask you a question. Let us say the BJP only highlighted these horrendous police inactions of Gaon gang rapes in non-BJP rule states. What would the opposition have said? Opposition would have said, why is the BJP silent on okay. such police inactions in BJP rule states? Kamru I am Chaudhary. asking the same of the opposition. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, that's a very important question because today we saw also Piyush Goyal, Union Minister, say that the opposition is running away from a debate in Parliament. We are ready for a debate. But they are shifting the goalposts, first saying it should be under this rule, then saying it should be another rule, then saying that Prime Minister has to first respond to similar incident. What the union claim to be a part of for those people incident for who have lost about three is becoming a topic a rather than feeling for those people in Manipur who have lost their lives, the who have lost their homes. A condemnable incident has happened in Chhattisgarh, maybe in Karnataka, in Maharashtra, or in some other parts of the country. Do you? I am. I am. I am. Today, I am very ashamed to be part of your panel. Why were you silent? I am very sorry. Because if you condemn that incident in Manipur, that happened. Is that not shameful? Those those females, those who are there in the video, okay, okay. Once, once, once. Gentlemen, there is some breaking news coming in. So the police have.